New research shows a deadly flu virus spreads more easily, th easily than previously thought. At least 240 schools nationwide are closed today to try to stop the virus from spreading. At one Wisconsin school, 30% of the students were absent this week because of the epidemic. Nationwide, more than 4,500 deaths have now been linked to the flu this season. Our Dr. Tara Narula spoke with a researcher who says the flu can spread just by breathing. We all got to breathe, so that's scary. Tara, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Gail. Researchers at the University of Maryland have created a one-of-a-kind device that collects virus samples from your breath. Using that data, they then track how the flu is transmitted from person to person. All you do is sit, breathe, and let the machine do the work. It just is pulling all of the air from around your face at a fast enough rate that we collect everything, but not so fast that it feels like there's a breeze. It's called the Gesundheit 2 and is the brainchild of University of Maryland professor Dr. Donald Milton. There we go. The device is being used right. to collect and analyze the flu virus in an exhaled breath. With those virus samples, researchers are trying to track down how the flu spreads. The focus has always been on telling people, well, coughing and sneezing is how it's transmitted. In 2014, MIT used high-speed imaging to study just how far cough and sneeze droplets, and therefore germs, can spread. But in a CDC study earlier this year, researchers discovered that the flu virus can be transmitted simply by breathing. If we understand better how much of the infection is transmitted by air, and what the dose in the air is, we can then figure out how to reduce your exposure. They're using student volunteers to study the mechanics of how the bug spreads. And head back, please. By swabbing people who come in contact with infected students. If I can show that you got the flu from him, and it didn't come from his nose, but it came from his lung, then you got it by the airborne route. We got the answer. They're hoping to use these findings to create models for better ventilation systems that would make it harder for the flu and other dangerous viruses to spread. For now, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, sneeze into your elbow, and please stay home if you're sick. Good morning. Right. Thank you, Tara. Thanks, Tara.